Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be going through the official key English test practice from the Cambridge website, which is a practice test for the KET exam. You might be asking yourself how it is that we're going to do a speaking task. Well, I need you to work with me. I need you to pretend as if you are watching me that you are going to be responding when I am asking you questions throughout this video. There are going to be some moments where I will give you a signal to pause the video and to be able to take uh, whether it's a minute or 20, 30 seconds to respond. So please make sure that you are paying attention when that happens. This practice test, like I said, is the official Cambridge KET practice test that they have on the website. Uh, for example, when we take a look at this practice test, the key topic to this practice test is hobbies, okay? So let's get started. Part one. What's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Where do you live? Thank you. That is phase one of part one of the KET exam. They're going to ask you, where do you come from? Where do you live? How old are you? Make sure that when you're responding to these questions, you're not just saying, I'm from Spain. You could just say that, which is a correct answer, but you could say a little bit more. I'm from Spain, from the city of Madrid. I live in a town outside of Madrid called Arganda del Rey. You can even say who you live with. I live with my parents and my dog. Try to push for a little bit more details. Remember that this exam is the examiners trying to see your level of English. So don't be afraid to speak a little bit more. All right, now we're moving on to phase two of part one. We are still in part one. The examiner is going to ask you now some personal questions. And you will see that there are two different categories for these personal questions. One category is the topic of school and the other category is the topic of home. And they are going to ask you three questions each, okay? First, they will ask you two questions, which more or less the responses are a little bit shorter, but I encourage you to say two to three sentences. And then they will ask you an extended response that could be something like, tell me something about la 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 la, okay? So that's when they're gonna expect for you to give a longer response. But I encourage you that on all of the questions that they ask you in this part, to say two or three sentences. Name three things, name three things, choose one of them and elaborate a little bit more on it, okay? So now let's move on to phase two. The first question is, All right, so with phase two, now let's talk about school. Candidate A, what subject do you like best? What clothes do you wear to school? Candidate B, what time do you finish school? What do you eat after school? Now, candidate A, please tell me something about the homework you have to do.
Now let's talk about home. Can it be? Who do you live with? How many bedrooms are there in your house? Candidate A, where do you watch TV at home? What's your favorite room in your house? Now, candidate B, please tell me what you like doing at home. As you can see for this part, I'm going back and forth and I am saying candidate A, candidate B. I am demonstrating to you how they would do it in the exam because obviously you're going to be doing it with a partner. But as you have gone through these questions, I encourage you to have taken a moment to stop and think about what your answer actually would be. What kind of, what kind of details are you going to be sharing? For example, if they're talking about what clothes do you wear to school, well, maybe you're saying the clothes that I wear to school uh, can be a tracksuit that I wear for PE, which are some joggers and a sweatshirt. I also wear a uniform to school. Sometimes I wear a skirt. Sometimes I wear shorts during uh, the spring season, or I am wearing pants when it's winter season. These are different things that you can name, right? Sharing some examples, a little bit of the different things that you wear to school. What time do you finish school? I finish school at two o'clock. Usually, when I finish school, I stay at school to have lunch in the canteen. I really like eating lunch at the canteen because the lunch ladies are so nice. Just an example, right? So you named a couple of things and you gave an example of why you like it, maybe why you don't like it. Maybe you don't like the canteen and you're giving some details about, I stay and I eat at the canteen, but I don't really enjoy it because I don't think the food is very good. I don't know. These are just examples of how you can push for giving more details in these questions. Remember that in the CAT exam, there are only two parts. So you want to take advantage of any moment you have to be able to answer a question and provide as many details as possible. Now we are moving on to part two, phase one of the CAT exam. In this part of the test, you are going to collaborate with your partner. The examiner is going to show you an image of different things, and you have to talk about whether you like those different things or not. So your answer could be positive or negative. In this part, I encourage you to think about it kind of like part three of the PET exam, where you are discussing different options and making a decision. I know you have all practiced that quite a bit um, without knowing that you were going to do the CAT exam. When they give you these images, you are encouraged to ask your partner questions. For example, if they are giving you an image of different places you can visit, you can say, would you like to visit the museum? Or what do you think about the museum? You're encouraging your partner to answer because basically all you're doing in this part is talking about whether you like it or don't like it. So you want to create some kind of dialogue with your partner um, and create questions to answer and obviously answering a complete answer with details. After you and your partner have discussed the different ideas or things that they ask you to talk about whether you like or don't like, the examiner will then ask you some questions about those things, okay? so. Let's move into part two. Now in this part of the test, you are going to talk together. Here are some pictures that show different hobbies. Do you like these different hobbies? Say why or why not? I'll say that again. Do you like these different hobbies? Say why or why not? All right, talk together. Here is what I would call phase two of part two of the CAT exam. The examiner will then take away the packet from you with that has the images and they will begin to ask you some questions, okay? 
The examiner can ask you questions, for example, from the photos. Do you think playing football is fun? Do you think playing an instrument is difficult? Do you think playing computer games is boring? Do you think reading is interesting? Do you think painting, drawing is easy? So, candidate A, which of these hobbies do you like best? And you, candidate B, which of these hobbies do you like best? Thank you. Now, do you prefer to spend your free time alone or with people, candidate B? And what about you, candidate A? Do you prefer to spend your free time alone or with other people? Which is more fun, playing sports or watching sports, candidate A? And you, candidate B? Which is more fun, playing sports or watching sports? Thank you, that is the end of the test. So as you can see for part two, the examiner is going to ask you questions about the discussion that you just had. Um, this is a great time again to share details. For example, if they ask you, do you think playing an instrument is difficult? You can answer either yes or no, of course. I encourage you to reach into your mind and think about those actual personal opinions that you have because I feel like that is what is going to push you to share more details. So for example, I think playing an instrument is extremely difficult. I have tried to play the guitar in the past and I couldn't do it. I didn't like the way my hands couldn't reach some of the chords. I don't know, I'm just inventing this. Um, do you think playing computer games is boring? I don't think playing computer games is boring. I think it's very entertaining and interesting. One of my favorite computer games is to play Plants vs. Zombie. Zombies, I really enjoy playing this game because I really like plants. So this is just a way for you to get some kind of idea of how you can push for more details. You're saying why you think this, then maybe you're giving an example. You're sharing an experience with the examiner. You want to remember here that in this part, you want to share at least two to three sentences. You want to give details. This is your time to shine with the language that you know and showing the examiner that you are cat level or even pet level, which many of you are. So I encourage you again, practice with the materials that I have given you uh, with a useful language for part three on making the decision you can use that when you're talking about the different hobbies. And also you can use some of the useful language um, of the sheet that I gave you called details, details, details. Have that sheet in front of you when you're practicing this part and use it to be able to challenge yourself on answering questions like the who, what, where, when, why that you can answer for these different questions. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to working with you guys on other videos that I will be creating to practice other parts of the CAT exam. And we will see each other very soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.